This is the A2681-2022 13-inch um, MacBook Air M4 chip. And it has a very wide viewing angle, so you can see the screen from many different angles. And you can see a little bit of glare on the screen here and there from lights. And this is the Prote Screen Magnetic Snap Arm Screen Protector. I received this from the Amazon Vine Voice Review Program to review for free. If you wanted to purchase it, it would cost you $27. So they have not paid me for my review, so my opinions are my own. So in the package, you get a microfiber um, cleaning cloth, and there looks to be some little stickers, like some clear adhesive stickers in there with that. There is an alcohol prep pad. There's instruction sheets here um, about how to install it. And this is a privacy screen, which will prevent people from viewing your screen from off axis. So it's going to reduce the ability to see the screen when it's off to the side of the screen. It also claims to reduce glare, protect against blue light, and so forth. So the installation instructions are use the alcohol pad to clean the screen, use the microfiber cloth to dry the screen, then you take this guy out and it has a magnet on the top here, and the side with the magnet is supposed to face you, so the magnet will basically hold the screen against your laptop. And you basically just align it to the screen, put it on, and then push it down to the bottom and move it out. So let's go ahead and follow these procedures. The alcohol pad also included its own microfiber cloth, so they actually have two different microfiber cloths in the um, kit here. My screen is new enough that I don't see anything that this would need to be used to pick up. All right, that install was super easy. It is installed now. It does dim the screen a little bit just from viewing directly on here, as I turn the screen, it definitely gets harder to see earlier when it turns. It still has a relatively wide viewing angle. You can judge for yourself how dark it gets there in the camera view. So right here is straight on. When I turn it to about there, it gets very difficult to see what's going on. I would say it actually increases the glare. I'm actually seeing more reflected light instead of the light from the screen there. And in the other direction, where there's not a light source that's quite as glaring, So I would say this increases glare over what I had before, because I see a lot more reflections in the screen. That might just be because the screen is darker, um, so if I were to turn the screen brightness all the way up, there's very bright screen. It still looks like there's a little bit of reflectivity. Um, and I did find a place where it says it may be necessary to flip your privacy screen on a regular basis when it does not sit flat with your display. And they said these double-sided sticky tape stickers in here can be used to stick the bottom. So the magnet holds it on the top. Um, if it stops coming off the bottom, these little sticky things can be put on the bottom to hold it on the bottom. Right now, mine is holding on the bottom just fine. You know, just kind of electrostatic force there, um, or the air pressure is holding it on just fine. I can close this and open it, um, and it's not, you know, coming off or anything. Now, I believe it would be very easy to get off just by peeling the magnet off. The hard bit is getting a finger grip underneath it because it's kind of down. Here I got a quarter on the bottom up. So, you know, removal is very easy there. 
Now they did mention for maximum privacy you should flip it the other way with this side out which apparently will make it even harder to see the screen. Um, so I need to align the top here correctly. We're going to spin this around and see if that I'm not certain if that's any better at privacy. It definitely cuts down viewing from the side, but there's a, still a pretty wide viewpoint here. You know, it's, it's somebody right next to you can definitely see it. Um, somebody sitting in the airplane seat next to you is going to have some trouble seeing it, especially they say, hey, turn your brightness down to 50%. You know, so if you turn your brightness down really low, it's very difficult to see. Um, but if your brightness is up at a reasonable amount, it's pretty easy to see. So here when the brightness is down low, I would call that screen a little bit dim. But you know, if there's somebody sitting right next to you and you really don't want them to see it, you could turn it down dim. You'd have a little bit of a trouble, but they wouldn't be able to see it. So there's a trade-off between the brightness of your screen and how much privacy this guy affords. It fits perfectly. I like that it's easy to remove. I could see potentially keeping this in a laptop bag with you in this provided folder and only putting it on when you're traveling or when you're out you know, in public using your laptop. And if you're home or at the office, you can just take it off and use the screen at full brightness. Um, so it's easy to put on and off that way. Um, I don't believe it reduces glare. It seems to add a little glare to me. Um, and it definitely does reduce the light output off to the side here, but it's not amazingly directional. You know, it's not like you have to be directly in front of the laptop to see this thing. The lower the brightness, so if you turn this thing all the way down, you really can't see anything. Um, you know, so that's about the minimum levels, about 50% where I would say it's as kind of usable. Um, and at low levels, it gets definitely harder to see from off angles, but you can still kind of see what's going on there. Um, so from a privacy standpoint, it definitely helps. It gives you the option of turning this down quite a bit and making it difficult for people to see your laptop, but it's also making it a little bit difficult for you to see the laptop. So this is at a low light level um, with the screen on, and I'm going to take the screen off here. And that's the same light level, so you can kind of judge the difference there. It's still kind of dim. And then, of course, there's the actual screen protection function here, so that if somebody tapped on your screen, you won't necessarily get a fingerprint on the screen, you'll get on the screen protector. Um, if something were to drop on it, it can protect your screen from scratches. Um, if you get some dirt or grit between your screen and your keyboard, when you close it, it would protect the screen from getting scratched. So there is definitely also you know, the actual protection of your screen um, capabilities there.